Bradley Quick on the Quick Fix with Bradley Quick Self Discovery Network. I'm here with Dr. Tom Horvath from the uh, Empowerment Center. Welcome back. Thank you. It's so good to have you here. So we, hitting upon spirituality is so big and so so strong for me. And you say it's not necessarily instilling a method or methodology into their into their head or in their belief system. It's about enhancing what they already believe. Yes. Because it's not going to work otherwise, and it means it's one less thing I need to argue with somebody about, potentially. If I start giving somebody beliefs that sound alien, mm. I have a battle. I don't need any more battles when I'm working with somebody who's already struggling. That's with. such a great point, because so many of these programs, and, and bless them all, they're all good, but there's so many of these programs, you must do this, you must mm. do that. You, what you're doing is you're enhancing their own belief system. But how, then again, this just came to mind, how, how do they, through what method in empowerment, do they alleviate their current negative beliefs? A great part of a self-empowering approach is to identify inaccurate negative beliefs. We all have negative beliefs. Absolutely. No question. Some of them are not very accurate. Standard cognitive therapy, cognitive behavioral methods are useful for that. Let's identify what the belief is, let's test it, let's consider alternative beliefs. There's a large body of scientific literature on how you do that. That's actually pretty straightforward. It's not always successful, but it's generally successful. Well, isn't, uh, isn't the 12-step uh, the method the most successful method of recovery in existence today? Well, it depends on the angle that you're going to come from. Uh -huh. So here's the angle I see. Okay. If there are at least 15 million Americans uh -huh who have a diagnosable alcohol problem, and it may yeah, be closer least, to 20. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, I agree with okay. that. Yeah. And AA membership is 1 to 2 million. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of room in there for other approaches that might at least get people through the door. The whole idea is to to appeal to people. Yes. To, to, if you have, we have something that we appeals to somebody, they're going to say, I want to do this, as opposed to waiting until they're so beat up where they have no choice. I agree. I want to get to people sooner and give them less to fight about. If they end up going to AA after they've tried a self-empowering approach, that's a victory. I'm More very happy. power to them. Exactly. <laughs> Tell me, bottom line, what's the biggest question that you're asked about self-empowerment recovery? Mm, that's a good one. I mean, I, I don't know that there's one. People are often wondering... Well, what's the biggest issue they have with it? Can I cope with the cravings? Can I cope is, with is the cravings? And what is your answer to that? Can I cope with the cravings? There are three things you need to know about craving. Every craving is going to go away. It's uncomfortable and distracting, but it will not harm you. And the craving in itself does not force you to do anything. You can outlast the craving and eventually achieve a sense of victory. Yeah, Eventually, this, the cravings go away. This too will pass. It always does and it always will. Yes. That's fantastic. Listen, I'm here with Dr. Tom Horvath, PhD and founder of the Empowerment Treatment Recovery Center. Wonderful doctor.